Um, <laughs> it was a hell of a game. I don't, I don't know if I've ever been a part of something like that. Um, the back and forth and the battle. Uh, we got off to a, a decent start. I like how we started the game. Um, obviously, I thought they, they got away from us a little bit in the third and fourth quarter. And then obviously just big shot after big shot um, from both sides, really. Um, so I was just executing down the stretch, being locked into what we needed to do. Um, and really just sticking together in a really, really tough, tough environment um, with no give up. Yeah, Chris, just talk to me about the, the clutch shooting of Verkona Williams uh, late in the game, hit, you know, I think three or four threes late, um, and then also Jackie's final shot. Yeah, I mean, you could kind of go down, Bay hit a big one, then Asia hit a big one, and Jackie hit a big one, Chelsea hit, I mean, it was just, uh, and that's, that's what makes this group special, really. I mean, um, it was the show any given Sunday? On any given Sunday, it could be somebody else. Um, and vice versa, really, for them. It could be Jewel one night. It could be Stewie one night. Uh, Sue, I thought, played magnificent tonight. Um, I mean, that was just a really, really high level, <laughs> high level basketball, really, both sides. What you look like, this is Taylor looking good. He's down in Vegas. Press conference, you kind of stopped it short and said, Let's go. I was asserting that Rock and you were the worry and mentality that you get that next season in terms of Vegas. Is this what the carryover back is about determination? Yeah, I mean, the the trust down the stretch. Um, because in every competition, um, it doesn't matter what sport, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a breaking point where you only have two choices. You're either gonna fall apart. Or you're gonna come together, and uh, at the end of the day, like I look down at the stat sheet, 26 assists, like that's probably what I'm happiest about um, because it means the ball was playing. It, it means they were moving it, they were trusting each other, um, playing the right way. Um, and and here's for us, you know, and and I know they're gonna go back and look at the film and they're gonna make their adjustments and they're gonna do say we could have done this better, and we're gonna do the same thing. Um, you know, and I coming into this, I, I thought there was, you know, mentality wise, you know, they're they're coming off a loss. And it's hard to meet that ferocity and that kind of focus a lot of times when somebody's coming off a loss. And I thought the way we came out of the gates really gave us a good chance to win the game. Um, because we were so locked in. So folks, you're gonna need a cushion against this team because they're not going anywhere. They're gonna always make a run, they're never going away. Um, so it, it's about being locked in for the entire game and executing. And I think, you know, the fact that I have the the luxury of kind of, you don't know, because is it going to be Jackie? Is it going to be Asia? Is it going to be Chelsea? Is it going to be Ke like, there's a lot of weapons. So, um, that's a real luxury to have in these kind of situations. So, and that's not me. That's just them. <laughs> you just get the benefits of it. So um, what does a win like this teach your team going forward when they're thinking about bigger things after this game? It's just not over until the buzzer goes off. And, you know, I talk about fighting for 40 minutes. Today it took 45 minutes. But you got to dig in and fight for however long it takes. And for every minute, because in these kind of situations like every possession matters both offensively and defensively and I thought uh we made some mistakes that gave them some really easy ones um and then that that starts to put some real pressure on your defense especially when they're getting layups because we're missing rotations or whatnot um so we're going to go back we're going to look see if we can't uh tweak some things um as will they um so it, it's we expect nothing probably but a similar battle just down to the wire in game four. It's it's hard to knock out a champ. Well, what is, you said it's not about you, but there's three consecutive ACL, you know, lots of threes there to Asia's 
store in the shed is the closer. Is there a prior scene you play with any of those plays that you can improve on? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's growth when, um, man, I've, I've said this, you know, the whole year. I have a luxury of being able to draw something and stuff they've never seen before, and they can go out and do it. That, that's a skill set. Um, and a luxury because I can kind of read what they're doing defensively and then draw the play accordingly. And for them to just go out and execute it is uh, a tribute to their focus, their lock and factor, and their their will to win. Their will to win. And then uh, obviously, you know, Chelsea's special in certain situations. I mean, and what a luxury. You can just give her the ball and she's gonna make she's gonna make something happen. Um with her passing, 12 assists, one turnover. Uh, is to go along with 20. I mean, it's just an incredible performance. We had her, Asia, Kia on the glass for us. Um, that's a huge deal for us to win the win the glass. Andy? Hey, Becky, um, I know you just touched on it a little bit there, but um, Chelsea Gray seems like she's hit just another level at these playoffs. What have you seen from her both as a player and as a leader on this team these last couple of weeks? Chelsea Gray being Chelsea Gray. This girl been hitting big shots for her entire career. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's uh I mean, with clutch performances, you gotta put her in the conversation with every great basketball player, male, female, doesn't matter. Definitely. And then Michael. Michael. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm Becky, I'm on Zoom. Um oh, there you are, okay. As a player you've been involved in some great playoff games with, uh, you know, very dramatic endings, thinking back to Spoon in 99 in the finals, obviously Nick 